Look, smile at the camera. You're on YouTube's, bud. You're on the YouTube's. Welcome to Over the Years. My name is Tim, and I love vintage items. I hunt for treasures and bring you the ultimate prizes of antiques, collectibles, and vintage decor. Join me, my dupes, my girlfriend Josie, and other guests as we search for history. I'm taking a school picture. I'm, I'm mad. You. <laughs> That's terrible. What's up, party people? It's your boy Tim. You are live. We are at Josie's house. Just got back from 50% off day at the thrift stores for President's Day, and it was bananas. Mm -hmm. So we ended up basically just getting all shirts and clothes, and we picked up these uh, uranium glass. Um, little bread and butter plates we got five of those so uh, besides that everything is all closed uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just run through this stuff pretty fast uh, so you guys can get an idea of what we grabbed uh, first up is this is um, I'm, I don't even know if I'm gonna be saying this right Aaron crafts it's from Ireland it's a hundred percent wool and it is a nice sweater um, hopefully there's no holes in it but, it, I mean, you could see through it anyway. So, I don't really know if anybody would know if there's a hole in there or not. But, super nice stuff. Uh, comped out pretty well. Um, next up is this bad boy. This I just love the color and the look on this sweater. It's like black and gold. And it's made by Tundra. And it is a quarter zip. And it's got the little Tundra-like thing on there too. Which is pretty rad. So, got those two sweaters. I picked up this polo sweater just because I liked it and it was half off. Nice uh, color with a little maroon polo guy. All right. And we got this Ole Miss Running Rebels. Or just the Rebels. Running Rebels at UNLV. Ole Miss Rebels. Uh, this is a nice, uh, it's not made in the USA, it's made in uh, Honduras, but it's a nice little vintage crew neck. I got this uh, Nike running t-shirt. This was only $1.50, so I thought it was a pretty rad color scheme and uh, design. So cop that. And I got this single stitch made in the USA, Puerto Rico sailing shirt. Cool color, nice little design. All right, this bad boy is the cream of the crap. This is a Nike USA Michael Jordan Dream Team in gold and white USA basketball jersey. Uh, it's definitely gonna need to be oxy cleaned, but it is a, the comps on this thing are crazy good. So I'm super excited about that. So this is uh, a first for me. I've never bought any scrubs, but uh, shout out to Robin. She said the scrubs, she'd be selling scrubs. So I saw these and I thought they were pretty unique. They are Detroit Red Wings, which is the hockey team in Detroit. And they are a scrub set. I guess that's what you would call it. That's the uh, shirt. And then you got the pants with the little red wing on the buttocks pocket. I don't know what you would put in there, but they got pockets too. I guess you put like stethoscopes and stuff like that in there. So they got those. And sticking with the red theme. This all this kind of reminds me of the um my parents worked at the Kennedy Center. And when you go see a show at the Kennedy Center, they had the ushers would wear these red vests. And this is what that kind of reminds me of. Uh this is made by Pendleton. It is a really nice red vest all right um dress shirts got a ton first up josie picked this one out 
This is a Prada dress shirt. Do you want to be in the video, bud? Is that why you came over here? Yeah? Okay. You can pick them up. Come here, buddy! Yeah! Hey, look. Smile at the camera. You're on YouTubes, bud. You're on the YouTubes. <laughs> All right. So, next up. This shirt is made by uh, Thomas Pink. Nice uh, colorway. Little plaid colorway. All right. This is Polo. I just really like the design colors on this one right here so it's a nice and it's a big boy too xxl big boy all right this is a patagonia flannel i guess i'm just picking up everything but down down oh come on nap nap <laughs> guess i'm picking up everything patagonia this is also patagonia this is an extra large so a nice big size Untuck it. I finally found some Untuck It shirts. I ain't never found one of these before. I found two today. So, you know, a lot of Josh. Shout out a lot of Josh. He be selling a lot of these Untuck It shirts. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. I don't know why the difference between an Untuck It shirt, you know, I guess it's the bottom. Yeah. And we got to tuck it in. Right. Look the same pretty much to me. Not really. <laughs> um... Got another Thomas uh, Thomas Pink shirt. We picked up a couple of the Thomas Pink shirts. Somebody had stashed a whole bunch, like mixed in with other stuff. This I really like. The color color on this is fabulous. And these are nice. <laughs> what was so it's funny? Fabulous. It's fabulous, Josie. It's fabulous. And these are like the uh, flip, so you can put cufflinks in too. Man, I remember a kid, the first time I wore a dress shirt that had one of these big cuffs, the French style cuffs. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> Picked up this Kooji. Nice little Kooji polo, big boy, two. This is a... Uh, is it a 2XL? It's a double XL. It doesn't look like it is. But I sold um, that Kooji polo I got, I listed it and sold it in one day. So I'm going to go ahead and just get this Kooji stuff a try. I mean, it's not a sweater. It's everybody wants the Kooji sweaters, but sometimes you can't get the Kooji sweater. You get the Kooji polo. Another untucked shirt. It's white. Classic. Can't go wrong with, with it. With the blue inside, the yeah. blue there. Got a little bit of the blue here if you want to flip the cuff. All right. This is a Carhartt Heavy Duty XL. That's nice. And that's navy blue, right? It's navy blue. Yeah, it's navy blue. I mean, these things are heavy duty, so. And they're heavy, period. Yeah. Weigh a ton. Now, this, I love this. Like, I would rock this. This is a polo flannel, but look at the colorway on that. Sick. Nice polo flannel. No horsey, though, but that's okay. What's your last shirt? Last dress shirt is. Gitman Bros. This is a new one. I, I've never seen any of these before. I mean, it's a pretty simple classic design, but the comps on it were really nice. Uh, made in the USA. So we got that. All right, jackets. This is an ugly-ass cowboy's jacket. <laughs> Why? You can't sell it like that. <laughs> I'm a Redskins fan. Well, we are, but it's not an ugly There's one. a couple of jackets. If I had a choice, I might burn, and this might be one of them. But I'm going to sell it instead. I'm going to make some money off of these oh bums. Oh, my God. So this is a nice... You're not going to buy it from us now. Nice Cowboys starter jacket. Which, who, who, who picked it out? Josie picked it out. Josie picked it out. So, now this... These are the, this is a one of a kind jacket. You're never gonna find this jacket nowhere else. This is like a customized jacket. What does it say? It says Kelly's Shuffleboard Champs, 1984. It's kind of ironic because my middle name is Kelly, my mom's last name is Kelly, and I was born in 1984. <laughs> and it's got the name Fred on the front. <laughs> but I can totally see, you know, like 
the look, the kids in the streets, the hipsters, the, you know, the the streetwear people rocking this, and them being like, "Yo, what's up, man? That's fly, fresh to death." It is fresh. Fresh to death. What else you got? And wait, yeah, this is nice. I like this. All right, picked up this Kooji check jacket. Can I see the back again? Kooji track jacket, big boy, big, big boy. This is a 4XL. Wow. So this is, you know. Yeah. This is this the real Biggie. You know, Biggie was rocking the Kooji sweaters. Biggie was rocking his Kooji track jacket, 4XL. Not really. Maybe. All right. <laughs> Another custom jacket. The camera is like all up in my grill right now, everybody. This is the Middle Atlantic. 1983 champion of boxing, I guess, because there's boxing gloves on there. And there's boxing gloves on the front. Bill! Shout out to Bill, the champion. 1983, Middle Atlantic. 1993. 1993, my bad. Okay. Nice satin jacket, though. Old school feel. Once again, one of a kind. Can't find that nowhere. Peter Millar. Quarter zip, long sleeve, double XL. Nice, clean, basic blue with the gray around the neck. Hmm. All right. This is another one we might burn. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> this is the Trump Castle Hotel and Casino black satin jacket. And it is made in the USA. This is old school. So I don't know who's going to buy this, actually, now that I think about it. But somebody might. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see alright hats this is a coal headwear hat um, I looked this up the comps on it were really good um, and the hats were really cheap today this is a fly hat right here y'all know I, I don't know if y'all know y'all should know if you don't know you know, know now I love watermelon I can eat a whole watermelon to myself this got watermelons all over it Shaw Park Watermelon hat. Fly. Shout out to Tommy. Tommy B. Sison, um, his Club Med shirt. I got this Club Med hat with the really fly, you know, 90s feel on the, on the bill. That's pretty dope. It's got one of these crazy backs to it. I don't, I don't know what you call that. I'm going to have to hit. Oh, look at that. It's like a zip tie back. That's pretty rad. All right. And they got this Unox beanie. What a sick colorway. Orange, red, white, and blue. Where's it made at? I don't know, but the comps are good on it. It's pretty fly. Dope colors. You don't see that colorway much. And then I got this vintage um, Boston Celtics. I'm assuming it's Boston Celtics. Yes, it is. Uh, scarf. That's pretty fly. And I got this vintage Las Vegas made in the good old US of A. And there's not a date on it, but it's fly. And it is single stitch. So definitely 90s. That's a sick shirt. Go cool. killing it with the hat and the shirt. That's too much. What about the watermelon hat and the shirt? Way too much. Oh, man. Killing the game. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. All right. Last but not least, we got this. is a motorcycle bag. So I guess it straps on to the back of the motorcycle. It smells like brand new, like brand new car, brand new lever. Are you sniffing that? Yes. I mean, smell it. It smells I'm brand good. new. It, this is like... Stop sniffing <laughs> Look, it. Look, you know when you get a new pair of dress shoes? That's what this smells like. Okay. Fresh. Not like how your dress shoes smell at the end of the wedding. How your dress shoes smell when you first get them. Are you... <laughs> what? So this is Nelson Rig. Did you just say my feet stink? No, not you, but I mean like the person, the people who know what a new new dress shoe smells like. Like a men's dress shoe. I guess women's dress shoes smell the same, but smell good. Stop sniffing it. <laughs> <laughs> this is Nelson Rig. Uh, the comps on this were really dope. So, um, yeah, it's in great condition. Hopefully, we'll uh, sell it fast. Hopefully, all this stuff will sell fast. I'm new to this clothing stuff. 
I'm an antique guy, vintage guy, glass guy, china guy. But uh, we're getting into the clothing game. So 50% uh, off day. Looks like we got a lot of ironing, a lot of steaming, a lot of oxygen cleaning and folding and picture taking coming up. So make sure you guys check us out. We're on Grailed, Poshmark, eBay, Etsy, Macari. Did I forget one? Deep Pop coming. Deep Pop. Deep Pop. So yeah. And uh, follow us on Instagram at Over the Years Collecting, at Over the Years eBay. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you to my beautiful girlfriend, Josie, who was filming this whole shenanigan. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. All right, we're done. Come on. <laughs> we got to pack all this stuff up. You have to pack all this stuff up. Yeah. I got work to do. <laughs> all right. All right. You look so worried. <laughs> nah, I just started thinking. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my gosh. You know how I be thinking. <laughs> Too much? Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, that's what the great minds do. They right. think. Sure. Yeah. Now you got to airdrop this to me. Come on. Bye, guys. Where's Ace? Baba! Ace, where are you? Baba! Ace, come here! Treat! Come here, Baba! Treat! Yeah, you want a little treat treat? Come on. Let's go. Treat time, come on. You want some treat? Oh, yes you do. Good boy.